camaraderie with people is really a, a neat thing. I mean, it amazes me the people that will come up and uh, help you out if you got an issue and the, and the camaraderie in, in, in the sport and the hobby. Um, that and it is always fun to see people's reactions when they see something crazy. It's always entertaining. My car is a 1932 Ford three-window coupe. Uh, has a 350 Chevy engine with a 350 turbo transmission, nine-inch four-door end. Pretty much done in my home garage, other than the paint. Uh, I did the upholstery, I did the wiring. I pretty much, pretty much built it all myself. I go to a lot of car shows all over. Uh, really enjoy the hobby, enjoy all, meeting all the people and getting out and, and doing that. I was flying model airplanes and my son said, Dad, you gotta go to the Saligo McDonald's. It was a McDonald's restaurant that they had a cruise night every Wednesday. So I went to the McDonald's and I saw the cars and I was kind of surprised at how the quality of the cars and how many of them there were. So I find myself rifling through Auto Trader to try to find something project that I can work on. One thing led to another and now I have three. I got a 55 Chevy, I got a 32 Ford, and I got the 27T. I really enjoy the hobby, it's a lot of fun. This is a 1939 Ford uh, rumble seat, what they call it is a convertible coupe. They didn't make a whole lot of them. This is the last year for rumble seat car. It's all Henry Ford steel. I've known this car since 1960. It was a 15 year project, completely everything new and refurbished. Once we started using the hams oil in the motorcycle, then I started using it in my car. What I would love would to see more young people getting involved. That's what we need to keep this sport going, you know.